morning. So Paul is just going to be taking down the curtain rods. We are tackling the whole living area. Um, what do you call the living area on a boat? What's the official? Saloon. The saloon. We are tackling the saloon today. Um, going to try and get at least all the sanding done of the ceiling and the top half of the boat done. So we're only painting the top half, not the bottom half. So if we can sand the ceiling and the walls this weekend while we're here and get it all cleaned up and ready to prime, we'll be chuffed with ourselves. Let me take you through, show you. We this morning just did a coat on the bathroom. So it's got its third coat on. Oh, I'll put my head in front of the, in front of the window. But basically looking Really nice and fresh in here. Um, so once that's dry, we'll see if it needs any touch-ups, but essentially we did uh, three coats and it seems to have done the trick. Well, two coats of primer and three coats of paint. So yeah, that's the story for now. I'm gonna do a quick run to BMQ to pick up some stuff that we ordered on Click and Collect. And then the messy work will be underway. Paul's just busy in the process of taking off all these little plaques. Um, there were quite a few on our side hatch, but those are obviously other people's journeys, so we need to start ours, and also we're just not really into that kind of thing. Excuse our recycling. <laughs> The boat is sanded. I think we packed it all in at about 9.30ish and started cleaning so we could make dinner. Holy moly! Sanding has to be one of the worst DIY jobs. Um, it is so messy and no matter how much you plastic or cover up things and tape it down, the dust gets in everywhere and it is just very unrewarding, very physical work and yeah, just dirty and tiring, but we pushed through and we just, the goal was to get from the whole, like from the front to the back, so the whole saloon area and then we just stopped at the bedroom door and we'll do the last, the bedroom as our last little bit, but again, at least we could close off that section, put all the cushions away and keep it tidy. Wouldn't wish that job on anybody. I know a lot of people have to do it with boats because boats are wood, but oh my gosh, it is horrific. And then you start cleaning and the more you clean, somehow the dust just carries on settling and carries on settling and um, it's never ending. So still a bit of a mess in here, like the floor is dusty, but um, yeah, we'll just have to keep sweeping up and uh, cleaning as we go. This is what we're looking at right now. Anybody for some plaques from different areas of the canals? So uh, yeah, as you saw yesterday, we're taking those off and we definitely don't have a use for it. But that is the remnants of all our work. Um, so what we've been doing this morning is just taping up the areas so we can start to paint the edges and then roll her away on the primer. I'm also happy to report that we have gotten quite good at making fires. And by we, I mean Paul. Uh, yeah, it is pretty intense when we arrive on the boat, like on a Friday night and we arrive late at like 8.30 or 9 and it's freezing cold um, and you've got to get the fire started. So initially it's quite like, it takes a while to get going, but he has got it down. Um, I'm going to get him to explain to you what he used because he used some amazing stuff and then, yeah, I mean, if you guys use different things, which I'm sure you do because we are new to this, then yeah, you can let us know. Um, 
what's the best but for the moment we're really enjoying um the or really happy with um these new logs and stuff that he bought so yeah we even tested the fire last night by boiling the kettle on it so that was cool saving on some gas um but yeah it's pretty toasty in here so that's good as the days are surely getting colder <laughs> part of the kitchen cupboards that we're painting for the moment are going to be these top ones behind Paul there um, the doors we've taken off we'll sand those and then obviously put those back they've got little square panes of glass in we just thought that with the walls being white and then the ceiling all being white it would be a nice continuation just to have the top cupboards white for now we'll leave the rest um, and see how we feel at a later stage if we want to redo the kitchen but yeah we think that little bit there at the top um, we'll just sort of freshen it up those cupboards kind of felt a bit like dark or heavy. So yeah, I think it's gonna look super nice and bright. Paul's just painting over here. But what I wanted to show you is that we've finished putting wood filler and sanding over the side hatch behind me. So that's where all the little plaques were that had obviously the travels of the previous owners and all the canals they had been to. And that's not really our style um, and this is obviously going to be our home as well as the little travel boat but yeah these little changes where you sort of start to remove um, the previous owners things make it feel more like ours and that kind of transformation is taking place and it's really exciting for us just making it feel more like our home and stuff so as far as just putting one coat of primer today I think we've realized that's how long it takes sort of to do the, all the edging and taping um, it takes about a full day sort of to paint one coat um, of the whole saloon kitchen passageway so we'll just get that done before we leave uh, but yeah even just with one coat like it's a little bit patchy but you can definitely feel that it's gonna be a lot brighter in here and white is just definitely the way to go so we're glad to have Sort of kept some of the wood and some of the boatiness um if that's a thing but the white is just making it feel like i don't know much more open and airy and um a bit more of a bigger space not so enclosed um i don't think you can really see that well on camera it still looks maybe a bit dark but we're really chuffed and this is the exciting bit like all the little things um sort of coming together and you can actually see some change just at the petrol station, filling up all the petrol, as per usual, for the long drive home. We are leaving quite late. It's um, getting dark. I think it's like 10 to 6. Um, a long weekend, but we feel quite chuffed with ourselves. Like Paul just said in the car now, like, you know, good job. We got quite far, so we're super glad about that. I imagine one and a half more weekends of painting, so... Sorry if these vlogs are a bit more toned down or boring um, than our travel ones, but thank you so much for watching anyway. Um, 
yeah, the transformation for us is very exciting. So even though maybe the footage is a little bit more laid back or I have to say it, like watching paint dry. Yeah, we still want to keep you entertained and we want you to see the before and the after. So thanks for staying tuned and we hope that you're enjoying watching old Annabelle come together. So yeah, we shall see you in the next one.